Kennedy. Thank you, Madam Chair, Mr. Secretary. Welcome. Um, I, I, I agree with you, by the way, for what it's worth about getting the money out on the streets, uh, literally. Um, Sam, looking at your budget here, your current budget is $12.5 billion. You're asking for $14.2 billion. Does that sound about right? Yeah. That's a 14% increase. One point, you want an extra $1.7 billion. Yeah. Okay. Um, explain to me why the American people would be better off giving you $1.7 billion than taking that $1.7 billion and spending it on infrastructure. I did a little math, and for $1.7 billion, we can, uh, we can resurface a four-lane highway from Washington to Denver. So why are, we, why are the American people better off giving you more money than putting it on infrastructure? Well, th thank you very much, Senator, and thank you for the question. Um, it's a great question, uh, and, and I think the way I would think about it is the $1.7 billion increase to my to the budget, my budget, is a, an investment in infrastructure as well. It's an infrastructure. It's what? It's I'm an sorry? In infrastructure investment as well. It's an infrastructure in the investment in the American worker in, in this country. It's an opportunity for us to look at, uh, as I think about the Department of Labor. Well, well do you believe every, ex excuse me for interrupting, I'm sorry, Mr. No Secretary, we don't have much time. You believe that every expenditure by the by, by the federal government is an investment. This What's is, the difference between an investment and an expenditure? An investment is an investment in the future of workers. An expenditure is an expenditure in building a bridge. Okay. Well, if you, you, you have a union background, which I respect and admire. Um, um, if we took 1.7 billion dollars that you say you need, you need more to run your department. And we spent that on infrastructure. That's going to create a lot of union jobs, isn't it? It's going to create a lot of jobs, but we're also not going to be able to educate the workforce that needs those new jobs that are going to be created off of that infrastructure investment of new bridges. But, but they're already educated. The people building the roads are already educated. They're good at what they do. Well, Senator Reid just mentioned of uh, an issue around literacy in this country. So, again, it's an investment in helping people to be able to be retrained and trained in the jobs of the future. I, I, I come out of construction. I work construction as well. The construction industry that I worked on in the, in the, in the early 90s and late 90s is different than the construction industry of today? Yes, sir. Let me stop you for a second. I, I don't want to get too far afield here into a history of the construction industry. I used to work construction, too. Um, let me be sure I understand what you're saying. When my constituents call me and they say, look, uh, you're being asked to raise taxes to pay for infrastructure. Why, instead of putting $1.7 billion in extra taxes on us, why would you give $1.7 billion to the Department of Labor? Why didn't you use that for infrastructure? Am I just supposed to say because the Department of, of Labor says they're going to make an investment? What well, metrics are you going to use this time next year to be able to prove to this Congress that your investment paid off than better than $1.7 billion in infrastructure. Well, before I answer that, let me just quickly go back to the tax question. I think the beauty for your constituents is that the infrastructure bills that uh, that's being negotiated right now uh, does not raise taxes on the average American uh, who earns under $400,000. So the average American is not paying for that. That's, that's, that's not true. Okay, well, we, we'll, that's we not why I'm here today. We have to agree to disagree. We, Let me move on, because I've got one minute left, and I like to stay within my time. Does your, does your agency conduct surveys? As far as employee surveys? Any surveys. We do, yes. Okay. Do you pay people? Pay the people to do the surveys? No, to, to take the survey. I actually don't know the answer to that. Well, here, here's what I'm asking. I'm not I'll trying get to, I don't know. I don't know. I, the I need that. your help finding something out. One of my constituents got this in the mail. It's a letter. I know it's not under your, your jurisdiction from the uh, Bureau, Census Bureau. And, and they asked him to fill out a form on children's health. And he opened it up. And look what fell out. A $5 bill. And there's no reference in the letter to the $5 in cash he got from the federal government. What's this all about? I have no idea. Uh, I'll Can you help me here. find out? I will help you find out. I took the... I didn't get one of those letters. Well, I, I, I filled out my... <laughs> 
my census, uh, my, my, my survey, I want five bucks. <laughs> and I, I understand too. that the Biden administration is also sending people $40 gift cards. I doubt that's from the Biden administration, but I will look at it. I looked it up. It's on the Internet. It must be true. <laughs> I will look into it with you, my friend. Would you? I promise. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. All right, sir. <laughs> Senator Shaheen. Well, thank you, ma'am.